welcome to uh, Fishing with Big B and Spice. Wild rice has had a historical significance to Menominee people for many centuries, and it also kept the Menominee from starving in the 1800s. In recent past, most of the lakes here on the Menominee Reservation were once filled with wild rice crops. However, there are still a few lakes that have been preserved like this one here, and they are in a very important part of the Menominee cultural heritage and also an important part of our daily based diet. I hope you guys enjoy this and remember eating nutritiously is the key to a healthy lifestyle. The Menominee people have known about the benefits of chaga for a long time. Now more and more people are learning of its uses, especially for serious illnesses. It is one of the most powerful medicines in the Menominee forest. Chaga is a medicine that the Menominees use for illnesses such as digestive problems, serious illnesses, and it even helps boost the immune system. Melia, did you know what the chaga actually looked like? Honestly, I had no clue what chaga was. Posto, welcome to the turtle garden at the SDI. Juice now allows you to consume an optimal amount of vegetables in an efficient manner. Hopefully today I can inspire you to make a healthy change in your lifestyle. Hi, welcome to Cooking with Lucretia Rose. Let's welcome Ron Corn Jr. to the show. What happens when we eat a raw fruit or vegetable though is our body has to process it. In that process, we end up losing nutrition value before it can get to our cells. But when we take the juicer and we make a liquid out of this stuff, it, our body doesn't have to process it. It can deliver it right to the cells and we get a rush of nutrition. Look at all these fruits and vegetables we just juiced. We could have never eaten all that. But thanks to the power of juicing, we can get all of our nutrients and stay healthy. See, it's got that golden, which means it's done. All right, now this is all we got today on our segment of Big B and Spice. Now back to you, my Leo and Zachariah. Man, that fish looks good. What do you think about that, Leo? I bet it tastes better than McDonald's flail fish. Food is one of the most amazing things on this earth. It's delicious, nutritious, and also does great things to our bodies to keep them healthy. Now, some foods do more things to keep us healthy. These are known as superfoods. Tomato, walnut, blueberry, orange, broccoli. The food that you see at the supermarket is actually filled with something called the GMO. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism. Currently, the villains and heroes are engaging in a massive perpetual battle for control of the food market. Either the organic superfoods take back the city or the villainous GMOs rule the market forever. It is up to us how we will help them. Now the question is, how will you? Speaking of genetically modified foods, in 1992, the FDA declared genetically modified foods were no different than conventional organic foods and they are not inherently dangerous to human consumption. However, many countries around the world have banned GMO foods. Today, we're going to show you healthy eating habits. So welcome to Around the World in 4 Minutes. We're going to have so much fun. Wow, way back in Mexico, when I was just a young lad, my little grandma would make us a lot of spinach and sweet potato quesadillas. Very, very healthy. Ew! I do not like vegetables! Did you know they are essential to maintain a healthy diet? They are also rich in potassium and folic acid. Carl! Oh. To quench my thirst, when I was little, my grandma would make us this special tea called Rubio's tea. I think I would rather have soda. Oh, soda? No, no, no. My elders always told me what we considered as a dessert was fresh fruits like wild strawberries and raspberries, which I have a lot of vitamins in them. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Angie Wilbur, and as a mother of three growing kids, trying to feed them healthy on a budget is not easy. So we're gonna go check out and talk to some people, and we'll learn more maybe about how to eat on a budget and why eating local is a good choice. Come Saturdays from 8 to noon and check out the Shano Area Farmer's Market, and you and your family can start eating healthier on a budget. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on Food for Thought. And I hope you learned a lot from our show today. Live healthy, live well, live long, and prosper.